So always a weird feeling just leaving the motorcycle right here on the side of the road, but we're back on 314. Let's get on across here. And uh, we're gonna continue cutting our way through. So I'm hoping I'm gonna break through, and then if we do, well, I'm gonna celebrate. So, but uh, we're determined we're gonna get all 1,500 miles of the Florida Trail. I've already cut through here, but uh, I'm gonna pull the cutters out and maybe do a little more on, on the way in. But uh, we're getting there, look, it's kinda wet. Unfortunately, that's gonna, I didn't bring the doggone bug netting. What an idiot I am. If the bugs get too bad, I'll have to come back another time. But uh, at least I'll get a hike in, you know. And I'm, I'm encouraged, it looks like maybe somebody's been through here. Maybe a trail crew came through and I won't be cutting, I'll just be hiking. And if that's the case, then uh, we'll be good to go. Then we just gotta head up into the Ocala National Forest. All right, this is, this is encouraging because I don't think I cut it down this well. So maybe somebody has been back in here. Well, this, this makes me proud because uh, you could tell the trail used to go that way and I rerouted it up here to the left. And whoever's been back in here, they followed my, my lead. I know I didn't cut all this. So who knows, this may just be a day, day hike. I'm uh, I'm really encouraged. I, I think the trail crews have finally been back in here. This would be awesome. Look, yeah, they came through here. I'm pretty sure I went through there. So this will be this will be awesome. I'm uh, wow. Okay, I'll just be quiet right there. Well, I came back to work, and I can see what we ran into on the trail because uh, we have had some rain. So I'm going to do something different. I want to get some work in. We're going to reroute the trail right up around here. And that'll probably take me about half hour to an hour at least. So let's get sweating. Whew. All right, so let's get this video before I break out the water and take a break. I can't think that took about an hour. But you see, this is just a note to the trail crews. You know, when you, when you see something like this, all right, it's real important to let nature reclaim that. I threw some stuff in there to try to fill it in a little bit and reroute the trail, okay? Now, I'm just one guy, but uh, you know, it was real easy. I shouldn't say real easy, it took me an hour, hour and a half, I don't know. Just to cut up, you know, I'm just cutting the trail right up through here to go around that area over there. And uh, I was gonna take it right in between these trees, but then I thought, well, probably bring it up here to a little bit higher ground and uh, just come on around this way and uh, what I'll do is I'll move these logs to kind of you know mark the trail and uh, and then you just come out right up here so you know it took me a, a bit of work to cut it in but now now you got a trail that goes around that and uh, you know anybody hiking you know they don't want to you know, try to hike through that. Plus, that need that area needs to be reclaimed. You know, once and once nature fills it in. So we're going to continue on up this way. I'm really hoping. I mean, it really looks like somebody's been back in here working besides me. Maybe that area that I thought I was going to have to cut today, I won't have to. Well, we'll find out, won't we? I might be singing Hallelujah chorus because I believe this is as far as I got last time. And uh, evidently, a trail crew has come through. Boy, I tell you, you know, that's, a, that's the beauty of hiking. I'm going to tell you what. You get out here and every, every, you know, the day you had planned, which I thought was going to be just cutting and cutting and cutting, and we did some, you know, uh, turns into just a hike. And, uh, you know, what we could do, i tell you what, we'll just hike around to that dirt road and then just come down that dirt road and I'll get back to the the uh, motorcycle there and uh, well then we probably should shoot over to the Akala forest path and see if they've done some maintenance there and uh, yeah I'm sad to say I probably <laughs> I probably won't be back on uh, this path it's really not that great a hike although it is I mean you you feel like you I mean you are deep in the forest I mean if you really want to get deep into the forest and uh, risk your life against wild pigs and bears and 
anything else that might, uh, any other critters that might jump out at you, this is, this is a real good hike, you know. I got the bear spray, you know. I always keep it in my hand when I'm deep in the forest like this. That, uh, wow, this is, uh, this is super fantastic. So it'll be nice to hike the other portion of the trail that I already cut in. And, uh, you know, I, and if they hit that Ocala trail, oh, I did want to tell you that quick story. So I'm out talking to my uh, my uh, yard crew, um, and these guys are great. I swear they're they're the best of the best. Hispanic, you know, hard working. God knows I, they come out there, you know, in that heat and just cut my grass. And uh, it was funny because when I first moved in, the neighbors, you know, they all said, "Hey, hire uh, Anna." It was Anna's business back then. John's been passed down to Jonathan. I think Anna got sick and uh, she couldn't uh, work and on the yard no more but anyway so Jonathan took over I think he's her brother and uh so I said hey Jonathan you know I'm gonna put a garden in the backyard uh you know what do, what do you think I should plant you know here in Florida I said what's gonna grow good in that sandy soil he says nothing <laughs> he says what you need is to replace all that sandy soil with uh, some good black uh you know cow manure or dirt and I said uh well I, I said that you know, I, good Lord, how many bags of that stuff would I have to buy? He goes, no, no. He says, I have a place, uh, you know, south of here that uh, that we can go to. Man, look at this. This is awesome. I, I just, and uh, he says, I can pick up a yard. He says, but you know, that's a lot of dirt. He says, are you sure you want me to put a whole yard back there? He says, it's $30. I said, yeah, yeah, bring it on, man. I said, just dump it all in my backyard. I said, what I can do is I'll just uh, tear, out, tear out the uh, soil that's there. And you see these low places, you know, you hike for a reason. What I'm going to do is fill up the back of my car with dirt and come here, you know, occasionally and hike this trail. And I'll just haul buckets of dirt back in here and in the low spots, just dump that sandy soil in here. And, uh, you know, Jonathan, being the smart guy that he is, he says, he says, I want to put at least six inches of black soil down uh, for my backyard garden. So that project continues on. I Man, I tell you, that getting all that rock out when somebody didn't put a barrier underneath it is just it's just you know eating that elephant one bite at a time but i had to tell that story the uh, the carrier for the back of my motorcycle is in but the the for some reason the lock is on back order so it's kind of useless if you can't lock the darn thing <laughs> you know so i could put a lot of stuff in there and i could ride around but you know unless i'm going to stay with the motorcycle I, you know which i mean would be good I, you could put stuff in there you don't mind somebody stealing you know so so i, I could go get to carry anytime but that's a long drive to get down there and you know look hey there goes a snake check him out oh there, there, you see him oh yeah oh yeah Whew. see they're, they're scared of you as you are of them you know a lot of people don't understand snakes they won't bother you well unless you step on them <laughs> <laughs> you'd piss them off right <laughs> so, so that's uh that was the other story it was the carrier i just thought we'd get a little bit of hike in, you know and show you guys uh what i'm seeing man this is uh finally so we've busted through now the silver springs portion of the florida trail don't have to come back here unless to just to dump that dirt and uh we'll continue north up into the Ocala Forest. Oh, that was the other thing I forgot to tell you. So I'm talking to Jonathan. I told him I'm you know, doing all 1,500 miles of the Florida Trail. But I said, I'm having to cut my way through. I said, but I don't think that they make one of the metal, you know, rotating things for the for my weed eater. He says, well, yours is just battery powered, right? I said, yeah. He says, that ain't going to work. And he says, you know, that those batteries. And he's right. I mean, I could get, well, I could get a ways up in there. He says, I got one, an old one, he says, that's got the, uh, you know, just like a hedge trimmer. I didn't even think of that, which I actually have a hedge trimmer. Uh-oh, this may be it for today. Well, we can get around this, I'm sure. So another another spot, see. Uh, hopefully there's a way around this. Looks like I could cut through right back there. Huh. This wasn't here before. See, now, if I was a trail crew, I would just lay some logs right along here. So, let me pause right here and see if we can figure a way through this. I don't. I guess I'd have to see how deep it is. Uh, I don't know if I can hike through it or not. It looks, uh, well, 
maybe if I get some sticks and I'll just throw them in right here and we'll work our way through this. All right. So how stupid am I? <laughs> All you had to do was just come up in here a ways and you can get across right here. So that's good. And, uh, you know, I don't like going off trail too much because uh, you never know what's... By the way, moving those sticks, I, there's a lot of spiders back here. I mean, a lot of spiders. Now here goes... Oh, this is where the trail's making the turn. Okay, see, I was building a makeshift bridge, <laughs> but I didn't even need it. So, okay, wow. I, I would have never, I would have just content. You know what? I did this before. Remember, I hiked down this road of ways. <laughs> so this is going to take us back to that dirt road. Uh, let's tell you, see if they took out that big tree. That'd be nice uh, that, I, that I cut around, you know, before. Um, so... This is encouraging. I don't think we're going to encounter, except right there at the road. Remember how wet and muddy that was? I might have difficulty getting through there. But uh, that's looking good. They have definitely been back here. This looks a whole lot better. I wonder, you know, wonder what was going on in their minds. Who the hell's been back here? Somebody's been doing some work, I guess. Saved them a lot of time, I'm sure. All right. This is just for memorabilia. If you recall, that's what the trail looked like when I was working on it. But, uh, and I cut my way through all of that. But uh, anyway, this is, uh, this is what we're seeing. This is fantastic. So I, I guess I'll get a video when we get to the road and uh, hell, we, maybe we'll go that way on the road and see where, where it goes a little bit. That'd be fun. Uh, the problem was uh, before, remember it got wet down in there. So we might not make it far down that road, but uh, at least it's a whole different day. I got the uh, the, uh, the cutters on my back and uh, it should be a good hike. All right. So this is just for memory's sake. Remember me cutting my way through here? <laughs> it took, took almost a whole day, but they widened it out a little bit better. So, man, this is beautiful. Keep on going. Hallelujah. So we're coming up on the road. Boy, look at this. Remember me coming through here with the doggone weed eater? Trying to beat my way through. That's a whole new world. It's a whole, that's what I was talking about with the water. See right here? But it looks like we're gonna get through this okay. Just fine. This is the, this is the muddy area, but we'll figure a, a way through it. I could, uh, well, I could cut up through there. Let's see. Hmm. We'll go up this way. We just have to cut through. Too, I'll get the cutters out and uh, we'll just cut through right here. Take that over to the trail rather than hike through that mud. I came back to do trail maintenance today, so let's just uh, let's reroute the trail one more time. There you go. Well, I think it's a nice addition. You know, let this let this area reclaim. You know, all I did once again was just a. Uh, cut through here rerouted the trail and uh, you know this is what they can do they don't have to stick to where the trail is I understand you don't want to cut new trails and everything but uh, you do want to let areas reclaim you know so it's the same deal so now somebody hiking they're gonna see that's pretty obvious that they're gonna cut right through there rather than hike through that right there so let's go let's go down this road a ways I just want to see what's down here and then uh, We'll hike down the road that way. That'll connect us right back to uh, 314. Plus, I, am, I might hike a little ways up in here. That's the other portion of the trail. And see what maintenance they've done on that. I've, I've, we'll come back and hike that sometime. I'd like to see if they cut them trees out of the way that, uh, that I had to go around. Right, let's see, see what's down here. So I, to <clears throat> I told you this road would get wet. I wonder if I'm coming to a dead end down here. Could be. Whoop. Getting muddy here. So, pretty cool little hike if you just wanted to come out and just do a dirt road. I mean, I'd, you know, maybe just come off the dirt road and then hike what I just did. Yeah, there's all kinds of hiking that you can do here in Silver Springs. You don't have to go to, uh, you know, the other portions of the trail that are much more heavily traveled. Plus, uh, you you know, you when you get back in here, you you are deep in the forest. Yeah, you know, there's nothing around. You can you can just listen here. Let's let's just be quiet for a minute.
I think this will be the end of the road. So we'll get back to the, uh, the motorcycle. Wasn't the day I had planned, but uh, it's a better day. I'm glad I didn't have to sit there and work all day like I thought I was going to have to do. So, yeah, it looks like the road's just coming to an end right here. I don't know what the K means. That's a... Uh, that's some, somebody watching this video tell me tell me what a sign with a K on it means. Oh, wait a minute. Might be going this way. All right. Well, look at this. It's a whole new world. This road is going that way. And uh, we just came down that. And then it goes this way. So let's go this way. This is really awesome. I wonder, you know, there's no marks on the trees, you know, but it would be cool to just turn this into a, a hiking trail. You know, we're in the state park. This would be, a, I'm sure that if people found out about it, I mean, hell, I'll come back and, you know, plan a whole day. And we'll come back here and hike two or three hours. I'm just going to go down in here about, uh, oh, 20 minutes and then turn around and get back. So there's another sign up here with an E on it. <laughs> I don't know what the, what the meaning of these signs are. Look at that. That's almost a trail right there. Huh. Look at this. This is, it's gonna, well, it's going to get muddy up here, it looks like. I'll have to wait till uh, we get a couple of dry weeks of weather before I come back and hike this road. But, uh, you know, if you're looking for just a different hike, um, you could come down that road back there and not go through the forest like I did. Come back here and just hike these roads. So... We'll go a little ways further. Like I said, I'm gonna try to get about 20 minutes up in here. Get through the mud. Woo. All right, let's, uh, what do you think an E means? <laughs> East maybe, I don't know. Okay, it's a ways back to the car and it just keeps getting muddy and muddy. I have to come back on a dry day. You know, when we've had some dry weather for a while. Not that I don't mind getting muddy, but uh, I just wasn't what I had planned for the day. And plus, I got a long hike to get back to the motorcycle, and I do get scared just leaving it there. So let's head on back. So I always try to just get the weird stuff. I wasn't here before, but they stuck a J in the ground. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. Here's that tree stand that we saw the last time we were here. And then, of course, the trail's going this way. I knew it was going to be muddy right here, but I do want to get back in there just a little ways and see uh, see if this, what kind of maintenance they've done, you know, or added to after I did all most of the work. All right, you know, it's great the crew came back in here and they just but they just left all this on the ground. Why not throw it in that hole right there? You know, I understand I cut the trail up to the left here, but uh, you know you could start filling that in by just throwing all that in there. And I mean, I could do it, but I'm getting tired and I've been at it long enough. I just want to do some hiking at this point. Well, we'll come back sometime and do this when it's a, we've had some dry weather. But uh, this is good and bad. They widened it out quite a bit over what I did. And I was trying to keep it more of a hiking trail. Now, you know, look at this. Some redneck can bring his vehicle down and back in here and drive right through it and just tear the trail up. But... Uh, who knows, maybe when they were working on the trail, they just drove through there. But, uh, you know, I just realized I didn't get a selfie. <laughs> yeah, all right. Another great day of working on the trail and hiking. Um, so heading north, you know, the next uh, video will be us going up into the um, Ocala Forest there. I was going to do it today, but I think I'm just a little bit too tired. You know, it's, uh, it's kind of a hot day here. Um, but not too bad. I mean, it's a, if I had just been hiking, we, we would definitely do that. But I, I've been cutting, cutting and hiking. So, uh, oh, by the way, <laughs> good thing I've got that motorcycle, huh? Looks like Biden's going to shoot those gas prices up to about, well, they're guessing $4 a gallon. I think it's going to be more than that. I think you're going to be paying $5 a gallon here pretty soon. And uh, you can think of me getting... 100 miles to the gallon because <laughs> I I saw that crap coming. I could see that from a mile away Took out the Keystone pipeline eliminated the fracking, you know, eliminated all uh, 
exploration on the federal lands. That Green New Deal. Hope you guys like it when you're paying $5 at the pump. All right, man. Peace out. Uh, that'll be it for today. And, uh, go ahead and uh, you know, if you ever come this way, if you live in Florida, uh, you know, I, I, this is a nice hike now. You know, you could, you could come right through, uh, you know, take the Florida Trail through the Marshall Swamp there, head north of 314, and come around through Silver Springs. I mean, it's not... It's not a great, well, it's compared to some of the trail, it's, it's not a great hike, but you are really way back in here. You know, I definitely you gonna need a, you know, some protection, you know, at least a walking stick or something. I mean, if one of them wild pigs comes at you, you gotta, you gotta I got the bear spray, you know, but uh, that, who knows whether that'll work. I, I hope I never have to find out. But uh, that, that's the, probably the main thing to worry about. I don't think you gotta worry about a bear unless you come up on a, you know, bear with a cub. I have never seen a bear, and you know me, I've been hiking for months now, trying to get around it. So, uh, and then going um, going uh, east, we'll hit Prairie Farms. Maybe that'll be next, because that is, that is one nice hike. I, you know, what do you guys see that is? That is just a beautiful, beautiful trail. Uh, you know, that's not the Florida Trail. Now, of course, the Florida Trail goes right through there, and I've hiked some of it, and I got to get back to where we left off you know, coming from Shangri-La that day. You know, the good news is 20% chance of rain. Guess what? The weather dog, <laughs> he didn't, didn't rain on me. All right, have a good one, guys. Well, I just noticed this coming down the, the dirt road here. Huh. Is this a, another trail? Man, you know, you could just spend days and days back here in the Silver Springs Park just hiking around you know they got the road up there we got this i think i've seen this uh, this actually just loops back to the florida trail but uh it'd be a nice little hike why not huh maybe come back and do this sometime you know and, and you know the whole point of being out here is to be out by yourself and uh you're, you're not gonna see anybody here you know with the virus still floating around, what, what the heck? Just come out here and do this trail. Could bring the weed eater, I suppose. Maybe just cut a little bit through here. That'd be that'd be a fun day. Maybe we'll come back with the weed eater and uh, just beat this down a little bit and hike up this road. That'd be a fun day. All right. You know, I reconsidered that idea. Is uh. You know, sometimes I just let the forest reclaim this. I got up there a ways and there were all kinds of tire tracks where uh, the rednecks or the other people have been back in here with vehicles and, you know, let the forest, let the forest take it back. You know, more natural areas and so many houses and so much construction around here. No reason for me to come back here and cut a, cut a trail in where it doesn't need to exist. So anyway, that's it for today. I, I promise you, I know this video got long, I'm sorry. So I can see the motorcycle just down the road, but I just thought I'd get this hiking along the road. You know, the, the main office is just right down there. I don't understand what they, what they do all day. Why can't they come up here and just pick up some garbage? But, uh, oh well. But there it is. Beautiful sight. So, uh, you know, sometimes it's not just about the hiking. We're going to go for a ride today. It's a beautiful day. I'm gonna head uh, head down 314 and uh, see if maybe we can find the Florida Trail on the other side of uh, and maybe there's a road that goes back into the Ocala Forest there just to, just to find out where another trailhead might be see if we can find that that'll be fun and I got a couple couple hours I mean who knew that I wouldn't be going to be cutting all day that uh, that they would finish up the um, the work for me so uh, that's great and uh peace out